So 2023 came with a lot of bing, bang, boom. <coughs> Lots of exciting animes made their way to our screen. But for the sake of this video, nice. we're gonna touch only one of the goats of 2023. And of course, you know the anime I'm referring that to, right? An <laughs> and we're back. So in this video, we're gonna cover four animes similar to Oshinoko, AKA -A My Star. And I know some dude at the back's like, why? Well, to answer that question, Oshinoko is gonna make its way back to our screens for its sequel in 2024. And I didn't complete college, but even I know 2024 is this year, am I right? Boring! So for the hyper and impatient ones like me who couldn't wait for its release, here are four animes with similarities to Oshinoko, with focus to the supernatural and idle feel of the anime to keep you busy till its release. Stay tuned for number one, as it's the closest in similarity to Oshinoko. At number four, we've got Zombieland Saga. Is it the supernatural idols, heart-piercing, and emotionally disturbing backstories of each of its unique characters? Just like Oshinoko, Zombieland Saga has it all. With a little bit of comedy here and there to ease the tension present in the anime. The anime starts off with the cute and adorable Sakura Minamoto, who dreams of becoming an idol. But, like our handsome Yuizumi. From the anime, Shikimori is not just a cutie. Bad luck is one and the same with her daily life. Going for one of them idol auditions, our favorite, Truck Kun paid Sakura a very short visit. <laughs> but this time, due to economic hardship and inflation in fuel price, Truck Kun reincarnated her into the same world 10 years into the future only this time as a zombie. Waking up in a mysterious building with six other girls from different Japanese eras in similar situations and an unknown gentleman who takes up the role of their manager, this anime will bring you close to tears as these girls struggle to lead their lives as idols while keeping their zombie identities a secret. Personally, I'd rate this anime a six over 10 and at number three, we have Kamikuzu Idol. As good and as beautiful as this anime is, I'm sorry to say, it's just 10 episodes. Yes, it's just sad, and there's little to no hope for a sequel. The anime follows the funny, sad, and supernatural lives of the ghost Asahi Mogami and the handsome but lazy Yuya Niyodo. Mogami, a beautiful idol with a bright future, would have made it big in the entertainment industry had she not died at a really young age. Still lingering in the world as a ghost, she wishes to live the life of an idol that she couldn't while she was alive. A chance encounter with Yuya gives her the chance to do so. With Yuya being too lazy to live the idol life, he lets Mogami take possession of his body. While Mogami handles this stuff too troublesome for him to handle, Yuya plans to live an easy idol life. But did all go as planned? Why don't you find out by giving this anime a try? Personally, I'd rate it a seven over 10. At number two, we have Classic Lloyd. Don't really have much to say about this anime so far. It's got a sequel and is 50 episodes long. It's got nothing to do with idols, but has a lot to do with music. So yeah, it's got the supernatural and music is involved, hence similar to Oshi no Ko. It tells the story of Kanae Otawa, who has lived in her family's ancestral mansion, Otawakan. However, due to her father's misdemeanor, she falls into debt and is forced to close down the mansion. However, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and Ludwig van Beethoven, two very prominent men in the history of music, somehow got resurrected. Claiming to be her father's acquaintances, they refused to leave the mansion. After Beethoven unlocks the power of music and somehow getting the close down of the mansion delayed, other music lovers and evil-minded music users developed interest in the mansion. Give the anime a try, it's okay. Personally, I'd rate it a five over 10. Moving on. At number one, we've got the closest in similarity to Oshinoko, and it's none other than Haripi Kume. 
To be honest, this anime deserves more recognition. In my opinion, it's just too underrated. Just like Oshinoko, it's got a catchy and visually stunning opening. beautiful heroine, and a touch of reincarnation. Jutsu, in the person of Juge Kongming Liang, a prominent figure in the story of China's Three Kingdoms. Kongming, one of the greatest tacticians of the Three Kingdoms period of third century China, gets reincarnated into modern day Japan, and by chance, he encounters the beautiful Eiko Tsukimi, and becomes captivated by her beautiful singing voice. He decides to put his strategic knowledge to use, and help Eiko become popular, and make the world recognize her musical potentials. Although they are faced with a lot of struggles, as the entertainment industry isn't a bed of roses as people seem to think. But with Kong Ming by her side, it might actually be just that easy. You guys should definitely give it a try, as I personally rate this anime a 10 over 10. Here are other honorable mentions as they lack the supernatural touch. 1. If my favorite pop idol made it to the Budokan, I would die. 2. Kageki Shoujo. 3. Skip Beat. 4. Bochi the Rock. Comment below what topics you'd like me to cover next. Did I miss any anime similar to Oshinoko? Let me know in the comments section. That's all for today, folks. See you guys next time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so as to be the first to know when I upload my next video. See you guys soon. Also, subscribe.